Hey everybody, Thriftstore Hacker back again, and today we're going to work on the electrical for the cheapest e-bike kit on Amazon. Um, I've already placed the brake handle up here, and placed the headlight up here. That uh, gives me two sets of wires that are going to be running back to the uh, bike, which are the headlight and the brake leads. Now your headlight lead is going to go into the connector on here that says indicator. Uh, the indicator, as soon as you turn the key on, is going to give that 24 volts and light up the headlight. And that uh, It's basically the accessory port. Uh, as you can see, I hardwired it in here uh, just to test it out. Um, I screwed up the pins in the kit for the connector, so I might as well just hardwire it in. Uh, the next thing you're going to need to wire in is your throttle control, which... is this setup right here. I'm going to zoom in on the controls here, or zoom in on the panel here. So the throttle comes with a three connector port, and there's only one that fits it, so that one's pretty straightforward. Now here's the part that you could screw up and blow up this control box, is you want to read very carefully which way the bigger wires go and you'll see there's two sets of wires that are really thick. Uh, the black and the red are the ones coming from the battery into the control box and the blue and the white one is the one that goes out to the motor. So we'll hook this up to the motor. Clip right in. Uh, the batteries are already hooked up. I don't have the connector on this one because I'm building a lipo pack and I wanted to save that connector that they sent me. Um, the next thing you're going to need to hook up is the key. I have the key down here this kind of temporary spot for right now. And that's going to go into the one that says power locks. So we'll just connect that up. Um, what else do we need to hook up? Oh yeah, we need to hook up the brake. Make sure I got that wire right here. And that is going to go into the one that actually says brake. If it'll click in there. There we go. Right. And the brake circuit, all this does is it, when you let, you know, when you push in on the brake, it completes a circuit, and it does two things. It cuts off power going to the motor, and it turns on the lead for the brake light here, so a light will come on if you have a brake light hooked up. So, that's all of the connections that we have so far. We do have two open ones, it's for the charging port and for that brake light. Uh, the charging port we will be using this time. I still have my... Just really old, beat-up Razor Scooter charger for these batteries that I ran one of the, uh, I ran the clip to. So I can just clip that in whenever I need to charge. So that'll be nice. I also still have the switch on here, too. So I could uh, embed this somewhere into the bike and uh, use it that way. Okay, let's see here. We have the battery hooked up. Let's zoom out a bit. We have the battery hooked up. I have one 12 volt battery here and then one down in the ammo box, making 24 volts connected together. So we're going to turn the key on here. Oh, we should probably hook up the uh, hand throttle. Because I just have it dangling there. And this is really easy to do. You see the uh, little Allen pin right here. Just put the uh, Thing on there and tighten down that pin. All right, I'm gonna cut this really quick and we'll come back and I'll test the bike. So I double checked all my connections, everything looks hooked up right, so let's give this a try and see if it fires up and spins. Turn the key on. So you can see up here there's a battery indicator on top of this headlamp. I can also flip the switch under it, turn the headlamp on. So we know we're getting power. Let's give it a little throttle and see what it does. Well, it's working. Let's see if I can balance this on this uh, kickstand. There we go.
Uh, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, 25 miles an hour fast, but we'll figure that out when we uh, take it for a ride next video. Uh, it seems like everything's in order. I'm going to wait for the rest of this rain to pass and then take it out for a test drive. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, build stuff and have fun.